What's up, YouTube? This is Courtney Truman Steamers, January the 10th. I'm over here on my second job of the day. Uh, this is a repeat customer. They use me around the holidays. Then they also refer me to their moms. Um, now they have me back doing the shower. Uh, so I just got the treating and also the floors. Now I'm also going to seal the floors. Um, um, so uh, this is what I got going on my second job today. Right now I'm just setting up, about to go get my tenant CRB. So you guys can see I got the floors uh, dwelling right now. So I'm going to agitate with my CRB. So uh, guys, yeah, man, uh, a lot of guys been uh, hitting me up, messaging, calling. Um, guys, this is going to be your bread and butter, your repeats and your referrals, especially during the slow season. Um, as you guys can notice in some of my videos, most of the homes that I've been cleaning lately have been occupied homes. Uh, not vacant homes. My job that I did before here was also a repeat customer. Um, then I have another repeat customer later on today and I have a new customer uh, after this job. So um, that's going to be your bread and butter during the slow seasons is your repeats and your referrals. And if you're not getting repeats and referrals, guys, you really got to ask yourself, uh, what are you not doing right? Um, like I said, this customer used me about uh, two months ago. Now they got me back doing the, like I said, the shower in the floors, so I'm just, uh, that's good. I, I love these mats because uh, I can take my tools, and even though I, I clean this room, actually, so I don't have to put my tools. And also, look, guys, when I walk from the floors, I have that chemical on the bottom of my shoes, so I can step on that mat and wipe my shoes off until the mat lay my tools right here. So, uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys, um, just draw right here. And the customers already paid for it. Uh, so, let's try. so this job right here, guys, was four fifty. And uh, customer history. And the customer, I was here on November the third. So today is January the tenth. Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, Two months, I'm back doing uh, more services. All right, so I'm about to go ahead and get my tenant CRB in. Um, and I'll uh, screw up these floors down before I pull in any hoses. Always wear gloves. When you're dealing with peroxide products, you don't want to burn your hands. It's a nice day today out here in Georgia. It's cold, but it's nice. All right, you two. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and knock this job out. Uh, bring in my spinner. Uh, what else? Oh, my tenant CRB. Someone is going to go ahead and bring in the tenant CRB first. Um, and I'll get the carpets agitated, pull in my hoses, and then grab my spinner. So let me go ahead and get the tenant CRB. And uh, what else? I think that's it. That's all I need. And also my microfiber mop when I, I apply. I'm going to use the Sager sealant um, to seal the floors. So I'm going to use the Sager sealant and a microfiber mop. So then I grab the uh, tile and grout spinner once I'm done. So all right, guys. Well, this is Courtney, January the 10th. Uh, knock this job out. Get to my next one. And again, guys, repeats and referrals. Your bread and butter during the slow season. So if you're very slow... Um, you need to be, this is the time you should be working on your business. And also if you have been in business for at least three years and you don't, you're not getting a lot of repeats or referrals, you gotta, uh, you gotta go back to the drawing board and see what's going wrong because I have a lot of guys. Oh, Courtney, man, you, you work every day, every day you're doing customers. How are you staying so busy during the slow season? Um, guys, again, repeats and referrals. That's my bread and butter, uh, during the, uh, slow season. Uh, so it's almost over with. We're in January, February. I say about the middle of February, going into March when it really starts to pick back up. And then from March, April, May, June, July, August is just slam. You know, again, people moving, uh, relocating, uh, a lot of leases being uh, ended, uh, a lot of houses going on the market. 
Um, but now, you know, uh, that's why it's good to have those repeats and referrals. So when all that action is not happening, uh, I'm still staying afloat and I'm still out here making money and uh, cleaning. So that's a good thing about repeats and referrals. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.